For BlueShirtsUnited.com, I'm Jim Cerny, joined by a guy that has a big smile on his face. He's happy to go back to work. It's Mike Rupp. Mike, uh, thanks for a few minutes. Oh, thanks. It's good to be back. How good is it to be back? Can you even quantify and put in words how good it feels to be back here, back in the room, and knowing that the carrots right there, training camp starts in a few days? I think it's just that uh, it's it's just a different mindset. It's a different it's a different feeling when you when you come to the rink with uh, from today as opposed to the last couple months. And um, you know, it's exciting to see all the guys. And it's been a while since we all been back together. So um, we got in there today and got a good skate going and, and try to. Try to see if we can get some work done uh, uh, real quick here. Rick Nash was saying that uh, the difference he felt from you know taking part in all these workouts that you guys have been having and then today was today, boy, you felt that there was an extra sense of purpose, that you felt, all right, boys, you know, here we go. No matter how much hard work you put in before, now it's real. Now you know it's coming. Is that the same sense you had? Yeah, it's uh, the execution uh, was a little more crisp today. Um, We'll try to obviously get that even better before training camp. But I think that the biggest thing, um, like I said before, is it's a mindset. It's about, you know, seeing plays develop and kind of, you know, it's funny when you get back out there, we're simulating scrimmages and to understand what your what your job is and, and where your positioning is. And maybe those skates before, we're not really doing that. So um, it's, it's a little bit of a change of pace mentally, but um, it's one that you felt today for sure. Well, with the shortened season, and with having missed all these months here and trying to pull it together quickly, what do you anticipate the biggest challenges individually and collectively to be in this coming shortened season? Just to start good. Um, you know, a good start can go a long way. Um, but on the flip side of that, uh, a bad start can bury you. So um, that's something that, uh, you know, we're aware of. And, uh, you know, we had a, a little bit of a sluggish start to start last season. Um, we can't have that now. Yeah. So. Uh, I think every game's magnified, and I just think we're excited to get out there, and it's um, just a different feeling in the room and around the guys, and um, it'll be good. How about you individually? I know last year was a tough grind for you with the knee, and even when you came back and you played, and you were never 100%, and, and you've talked about that at the end of last year. You rehabbed during the summer. Now you've had this extra time as well. Where are you at physically, and, and what do you expect this coming year? Um, I'm excited to... Uh, to, to to be the player that I envision myself being for this team and um, you know it's uh, I feel healthy um, I feel strong and uh, so this is the best I've, I've felt physically uh, since I've come here so um, you know there's no excuses uh, that I, that I want to make but uh, I'm just excited to get going and um, it's it's definitely you get a little more hop in your step when you're when you're healthy and you're feeling good each day and every movement feels a lot better so um, that's how I'm feeling now and we're just excited to to, to get at it quick thought you bring back most of the team from last year a team that certainly had a lot of success I guess two-part question uh, first part is what kind of carryover is there maybe from a confidence uh, point of view because this group has achieved success and then when you integrate a superstar like Rick Nash into that mix I guess your anticipation of that well I, I've always been a believer of you're not winning until you experience some uh, defeat and uh, we, we experienced that last year um, Adding a player like Rick Nash is only going to make your team better, um, but there's a lot of work to, to be had, and uh, you know that that's the thing that's you, you don't want to. That's one of the hardest things that when you're sitting out and, and we're not uh, we're not playing as the opportunity that we have here uh, with the Rangers, and um, you don't want that to go to the wayside. So now we got the chance to do something about it, and um, the, the same thing goes. We, we we have an opportunity, but. It's just that until we uh, get going. So um, I think there is some carryover. The feelings that we felt at the end of last season, how close we were, and uh, we need to use that as motivation. A quick final one for you. If there was any benefit to, to this kind of time away from playing, was it being home with the family more, and including the new addition to the Rupp family? Yeah, I mean, I uh, there's definitely positives of these last few months. Um, it's been... Uh, uh, it's allowed me to appreciate fatherhood and, and uh, for the first time really feel like uh, I, I'm, uh, you know, uh, established in the household as far as being there every day. And, and there's a difference when you can lay your, your head down at your house each night with your kids and your, and your wife. And uh, it, was a, it was a great, great couple months for us. And, um, you know, we're all excited as a family to get back at it. But uh, we'll cherish uh, these last few months for sure. Well, back to work goes Mike Rupp and the New York Rangers. Thanks for a few today, Mike. All right. Thanks, Jim.